So, everyone, how y'all doing? This is Churros King, my homie right here, one of my newest homies on YouTube. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and definitely go to his channel, because he needs some love. Y'all love me, then y'all gonna... So, today, we are going to be talking about Bagan. If you guys don't know, Bagan is one of Godzilla's strongest enemies of all time here. And I have some new information for you, um because the last time we did this uh i ain't know too much but um after redoing it i got a lot more for you so uh yeah yeah this is gonna be good so we're gonna be looking at these characters from a composite standpoint and um obviously if you uh mess with a composite godzilla you can mess with just about anybody so i'm gonna start off with the uh let's start off with the begon scaling all right so Churro, here's the fun thing, right? He was meant to actually fly. I I figured. I'm like, I could have sworn Bagon can fly. He was, he was meant to, but it was scrapped. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was scrapped. You see, he was supposed to appear. He had actually four Godzilla movies he was supposed to appear yeah, he in. Yeah, some tough luck. Four. But he got scrapped so many times. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, bro, could not like, catch a win. Nope. And so, if you guys don't know where to find Megan, there is a Godzilla Heisei game where it's basically like an alternate version of the Heisei verse, where Godzilla like doesn't die like afterwards with Destroyer. So the whole burning Godzilla and the whole Destroyer thing just never happens apparently. So let's get into the scaling, right? So, Bagan himself was actually so powerful that Godzilla and Ghidorah had to team up against him. Now, already, that could that that just says a lot. That it 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 says a lot about any monster in total. And then they had to fuse together. Basically, Ghidorah's cells were added to Godzilla cells. To give Godzilla such an increase in power that Godzilla still high diffed Bagan here. Now, with the Heisei scaling, you know, Godzilla can scale to 5D, or you can actually take the basically the literal interpretation of super gravity, gra ah, super gravity from ourselves, and that would be, I think it was 7D that where our scientists scale it, 7D. So again, applying that to Heisei Godzilla, who was above characters like Utsuno Ikuzagami and Yamato no Orochi, who easily can affect 40 planes. Godzilla being not only above them, but was confirmed to be actually able to beat them. And that would put him obviously at a 60 category, because again, affecting 40 planes, that would make you 5D and that basic, you know, scaling chain and all that. And then with Space Godzilla, you have 7D. So Bagan would already have um i guess you could say like nine or possibly higher d scaling if you really want to get into that and then sure if you like you can get into some of the other feats godzilla has done in like other iterations if you want now if we want to bring in the other iterations let's talk about rage across time let's talk about godzilla in hell he that's when that's mm -hmm. when his more higher dimensional stuff gets really like consistent Cause I'm more of a conservative guy when it comes to the movies, but the comics, oh, go all out. So, yeah, with uh, Rage Across Time, he yep. has a godly form that he takes on Zeus. Zeus has some uh, conceptual scaling, and he just straight up threw a thunderbolt at Godzilla, and Godzilla just looked at him like, "That's the best you got," and like just folded the entire pantheon, which is fire. Bro is basically Kratos. Then we got uh, Godzilla <laughs> in Hell. Now, scaling with that is all over the place, but we can at least get a general realistic scale here that hell, it has multiple dimensions within it, and Godzilla killed right. the creator of those multiple dimensions, so easily, easily you can get him to 5D or even higher. So he's already just a menace mm -hmm. himself, composite Godzilla really is. Yeah, Godzilla's an absolute nightmare. Then you have, you know, now I'm sure I'm sure the scans are probably in the video. They'll probably be there towards the end. But you know, you have your like Avengers scaling and Ooh. like, especially the Power Rangers. Oh yeah, I forgot all about that. You're right. 
Dear God, he bodied them. Th- those poor Megazords. Dear God. Ugh. They thought they were Mecha Godzilla for a time. <laughs> and might get even better because uh, he's fighting Superman next. Oh yeah, the, the Justice, Justice League. League. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. I had I had to make a whole video on that. Like, look. I know y'all might be mad at this, but y'all gonna have to accept the L the league is about to take. Like, yeah, I'm already looking at the scans. We already seeing even Kong is folding them. <laughs> so it's, Kong yeah. is about to fold the Legion of Doom too. Like, yeah, it's getting it's getting crazy. It, it's getting crazy. But so we each have like, I think it's I, I, in all honesty, I think it's like multiple, multiple of Godzilla's allies right now. We have. Zilla, King Caesar, Angus, you know, everybody except Camebus. Yeah. Everybody except him. Because he um he, he ain't do too much. He really didn't. He he doesn't do too much. Even in the Godzilla rules of Earth, he doesn't do too much. He kind of felt like, if we're being honest, he feels like a last minute addition, if you think about it. So all right, so. We're going to start off, and Churl, you have the honors, and I believe your first one is King Caesar. All right, let me talk about my goat, King Caesar. King Caesar is uh, highly renowned as a martial artist monster, stated in both the Showa era and the Final Wars era to be uh, skilled in martial arts and fighting tactics. And uh, as we know, Bagon does not have those statements. So this is an edge King Caesar can use. Uh, King Caesar has fought along side Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. Um, he also, in the comics, were able to fight the Trilopods, which were able to give Godzilla and Space Godzilla trouble at times. So he should be somewhere around their level. Uh, he also has an ability with reflected eyes, where if you shoot a beam towards his eyes, he can absorb that and redirect it back at his opponent ten times more powerful than it was first fired at. So that's going to be pretty nice. Any beam-like abilities used against him, he can uh, use it against his opponent. So how do you think he fares in this whole uh, one-on, you know, one-on-one? one on one Let, Let's do that. We're going to do one-on-ones, and then we'll just throw them all at him. How do you think he fares in, like, a, you know, a rock em, sock em kind of battle? Right, right, right. So they, they up in Japan or somewhere, about running the phase, <laughs> 1v1. Respectively, though, I have to hand King Caesar to L. And uh, from a consistent standpoint, composite-wise, Godzilla is just superior to King Caesar in almost every way. I don't think there's a single game, comic, definitely not the movies, that you can pull proof that King Caesar would be above Godzilla. And I mean, we already you... went over how Godzilla lost to Bagon with the help of King Ghidorah, who at <laughs> least is a, at least on par with Godzilla. King Ghidorah is I... definitely him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if those I two think, can't I handle it, like, King Caesar definitely can't. You're saying what? Mm-hmm. I think if you um, look at it from a composite standpoint, I, I could. I, me, I'm a King Ghidorah fanboy, so right. I, I could be. I could, I could say I'm biased, you know. But from a consistent standpoint, Godzilla either has to get a slight amp or needs help from King Ghidorah. There's only been like a handful of times, like probably the ones we could probably count on our hand that Godzilla has been able to solo King Ghidorah by himself. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't happen too often, right? But even then, more risk, more realistically, or at least let's use King of the Monsters as a standpoint. And like towards the end of the movie, they were pretty much even until Mothra sacrifice. Right. Wait, mm-hmm. you said it was for Monsterverse. We... Yeah, Monsterverse. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of like and as that, a... oh, are you Ghidorah had it? Oh, when he yeah. got supercharged. Yeah, I think. He... Especially when he got that, I, I would actually call the amp like an equivalent other. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, Godzilla had a new basically busted in his face. Uh, pause. And then um <laughs> Ghidorah drained the uh, electricity of an entire city. Now I now in all that could be because of Ghidorah's bioelectric nature taking in electricity as a much more amplified boost than nuclear energy. So you probably say it was like the equivalent or slightly greater, but in all honesty, he had it, or you could just say it was a hax difference. I think that's probably the better way of looking at it that he had a hax difference. But either way, our point still stands. Like King of Dora is almost never inferior to Godzilla, besides like GMK, and even then, 
I consider that version of Ghidorah a separate character because technically that's uh Nobuto mm-hmm. Orochi. That's not even really Yeah, he was supposed to be um he was like an immature Orochi. So I'm just like, how does yeah. that how that work? Not even Ghidorah, so I count them as separate characters. Right. Yeah, I agree. I can definitely agree on that. So King Caesar, would you say if you had to give a difficulty, would you say low? Yeah, I think he's getting low diff. Okay. All right, so we'll put that down as King Caesar getting low diff. Now I think the next one on here is Zilla, right? Zilla is by far say, one of the few most intellectual reptilian kaiju in the verse. In the IDW Godzilla Rules of Earth comic, he was able to go toe-to-toe with Godzilla. And even though he got hit a couple times, one of the few things and probably one of the best feats that shocked fans everywhere was definitely his atomic breath showing where he was able to basically dodge and weave around Godzilla's atomic breath and Godzilla actually had to get him at a point blank range before he could use it. Zilla would also I would probably say he would eh, he could hit harder than Titanosaurus, at least a base level Titanosaurus where he's able to basically like bite and tear apart the trilopod of Titanosaurus. And he was able to kill a Godzilla trilopod with slight help from Jet Jaguar. And um, not including his junior version, because that's a, I actually would agree with you, counting that as a whole separate character entirely, because it's definitely a lot, it's a lot different. And it's like his son, you know, it's kind of weird to composite that together. Yeah, I, I definitely think it would definitely be a um, addition of him. And then you also have his burrowing ability, which he uses to basically cause Kaiju to like fall in and collapse um, underground. He'll use it to like dodge attacks and stuff. And in all honesty, he is one of the more, I guess you could say, safer fighting kaiju. So with that being said here, um, mm, mm-mm. I would like to say he does slightly better than King C, but I would have to say um, he would also get loved if. What do you think? Oops. Uh, yeah, I love my boy Zilla, but yeah, respectfully, I don't think he has too much to prove. He's on Ghidorah level. And we already know how Ghidorah will do against Bagon, so it's just like, it's not a lot you can really argue for for Zilla here. Right, right, right. Now, um, this is a, yeah, this is a, this is basically a double deal. Uh, you you could basically explain um, Sanda and Garai, considering they scale to each other hand in hand. Yeah, let me talk about uh, these two. So, these guys also they're not as good as King Caesar, but they also know some uh. Some martial arts as uh, they know some wrestling some tiger claw uh, methods uh, aside from that though uh, they were also able to uh, they're also they have some cellular resistance as they're able to tank some maser tanks and uh, maser tanks are able to have cellular uh, destruction so despite they did die to it but uh, mm-hmm. they were able to tank it for some time and also in the rulers of earth uh, iterations they were able to box up Godzilla they jumped him one of them made blood draw out from Godzilla, so they scaled to Godzilla, uh, but they still got folded. Granted, I, I will admit they, they lost. Right. But hey, them them drawing out blood and being able to yeah. stagger Godzilla with their punches and kicks and whatever proves they're um, on, at least on Godzilla's scale mm-hmm. somewhat uh, at a re- relative level. But even then, despite all of that, they're still getting folded by Bagon because we already established the scaling. If Godzilla by himself can't beat Bagon, then right. Godzilla by himself whooped both of them at the same time. It's, like, much it's, it's, it's quite sad. They they literally got the jump on him, like quite literally, and still lost. They had they even they had the military. They had the environment, and they was they was doing some stuff. They was doing like some stuff like I was like. Okay, so why didn't Kong do this? You know, they were, like, throwing buildings at him. They were, like, dropping them on him and everything, too. They were, like, pulling his tail. They were doing everything. You're right. They were pulling his tail so that he couldn't, like, properly shoot. And then you have, like, the gas canister where Santa kind of, like, pretty much, like, surprises Godzilla with it. And then it causes Godzilla to run to the water, like, dang, my head's on fire. I got to get this off. Like... (laughs) Yeah, they did like everything they could using their environment, everything as possible to get that win off of Godzilla. And even then, and then all Godzilla did matter. was he threw Santa. It took so much time just to recover from it that Garaya, the green one, by the way, if you guys don't know the difference, Santa's the golden one, Garaya's the green one, and Garaya literally just got he like stomped on, and that was it. 
<laughs> yeah. But they, they had the whole fight back combo, though. They have some nice yeah. chemistry. Very nice. That's kind, that's kind of their only... Kobe and Shaq. That's, that's kind of their only hack they, they really have here is that they have a mild resistance. They're good. I would definitely say they have more wrestling or... What's it called? What's it called? Um... I think it. I, I'm not. I'm probably gonna get this wrong, and any martial arts can correct me in the comments. Uh, Krav Maga like grappling. Oh yeah, they definitely use uh, grappling tactics. Yeah, they had like they had the bear hug, the choke slam, all, all that good stuff in there. But um, yeah, I kind of agree with you. I think they like they do worse than the first two we mentioned. I think I think they do worse because they don't have a real way to like counter Bagan's like energy blast. And Thunderclaw or this Thunderclaw, I don't think they they don't really have anything to like counter that. So they might get like like nagged actually. Yeah, yeah. Best best I could I best I could probably yeah. give them is like yeah. a low, maybe like a low diff, but again on a more consistent level. If they um and I think even in the Showa era, the Showa era had like one little panel where they still lost to Godzilla. Still, like they had one little like manga, I guess confirmation between the two to like, yeah, they fought, but they still lost to Godzilla. So again, having Ghidorah and Godzilla team up against someone that literally had to stack power on top of power just to beat them. So with that being said, they they really don't have too much of a chance here. I'm not saying they're the weakest of this group right. here. They're definitely not. Think well, physically they're not there. But again, compared to the other two, which have like, I guess you could say higher scaling, because again, they're fighting like Godzilla or at least somewhat Godzilla level foes, like King Caesar with Mecha Godzilla and Zilla with you know Godzilla and Trilopod amped forms of both Godzilla and titanosaurus here they do a whole lot better than santa and Goriah. i even say if those two combine their efforts they would do a lot better they need to like on their own they cool against like someone like let mm -hmm. oh i won't spoil i won't spoil i for the kaijus but they'll do good against some of the like mid lower tiers <laughs> but they got nah they gotta work together and even then they still don't got it yeah they still don't got it. All right, next one I'm going to explain here, and I think it's... Let me see the list again. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, I think it's uh, Gorosaurus. I'm going to explain my boy. Explain my boy Gorosaurus. Give him some love. And he definitely needs some justice. Put that boy in the monster verse. Come on now. Like, dang. We can only pray. We can only pray. Right. You look so good. Like, ugh. but I, right, Gorosaurus, and I'm gonna say this has the best case for delivering a solid injury to Bagan. De he's definitely breaking a bone or two. You see, the reason why I say this, you guys, is because Gorosaurus in the Destroy All Monsters movie was the one who broke King Ghidorah's back. Put our golden child in a wheelchair. All right, put put him. He put him in a wheelchair, and uh, th there was nothing stopping that. Then they proceeded to just stump the mess out of him. So, in all honesty, uh, unfortunately, he has he has the AP to do it. He was also incredibly like durable as well, and he's a great combatant, especially when the Trilopod invasion came to Monster Island, and you had like Sanda, Garaya, um, Rodan, and. What's the name? I'm thinking I'm missing one. Oh, Kumonga and Baragon all on that island at the same time. And they got captured a lot quicker than he did. He took out like multiple, and I mean multiple ones of them. And he the really what got him was the numbers. Like he was getting overwhelmed and eventually he got like knocked out. And he also has like a bur burrowing capability, but not on the same speed level as Zilla. So in all honesty, if I had to say how he would do against Bagan, I would definitely say he'd be up there with Zilla and King Caesar. And I would probably say he gets he would get a mid diff from me because he can actually cause some injury. What about what do you think about that? That that, that don't mm -hmm. that don't hurt. That it really doesn't hurt the durability of Ghidorah, though. Cause I mean, you could honestly say, yeah, yeah, he's got some comparable, you know, scaling right there. 
But again, they they couldn't like. Yeah, that. So, oh man, with the fact that he put Ghidorah on his back is amazing. Granted, he had help, a lot of help. But hey, that is nothing to sleep on. Despite the fact, even if he did have help. Yeah, ex exactly. That's what I'm saying. Gorosaurus here, he's definitely one of the better ones. We're starting to, like, climb up it here a little bit in power because he's showing some relativity to uh, Ghidorah here, especially with the tribal pod fights. He was one of the better fighters on Monster Island. Uh, and then I think there was this old, old scan of the Showa, of the Showa monsters, and it was like a battle between Gorosaurus, Rodan, and Gears. And Varen, was it? Uh, I, I could be mistaken here, so if anybody knows, like, the scan better than I do, go ahead and correct me. But I do know this. They chose Gorosaurus as the winner between those four kaiju. And that already, and it's pretty consistent with what we've seen in the film. It's, it's pretty dang consistent. Yeah, it's a four-way dino battle, if I'm remembering it correctly. It might have been Titanosaurus. I don't know. It was something like that. But either way, Gorosaurus came out on top. That's the main thing I remember. Yeah, it's a very niche scan. Yeah, it's, it's in that server. It's in the server. That's how I saw it. Someone sent it to me when I asked, oh, who would win between Gorosaurus and Titanosaurus? And it's like, oh, well, here's this scan here. I'm like, oh, uh, uh, all right, y'all. Uh, let me just let it be known. I'm a certified, verified, get the check mark on my name, Varen Hater. I do not like Varen, but I will not spite scale him. I will be fair, and I'll explain why I dislike him. He folded my boy Rodan. I like that got to be a big L on Rodan's part. I'm sorry. We're going to get to Rodan later, so I, I, it's it, uh, there's a lot to go over with that. But yeah, Varen folded Rodan, and Rodan scales to Godzilla pretty evenly. Uh, we'll get more into it later. But yeah, he has some good scaling to Godzilla and King Ghidorah. So we can, we can put Varen around that tier based off of that feat. He also has his beam, thanks to Godzilla Unleashed. He has a he has long range, not only that with his gliding, he also has a long range uh, weaponry. And that's about it. I still think Bagon would body him, but he'll do a lot better than most of the kaijus we mentioned before. He'll he he has something that most of the other ones did, which is actual uh, long range uh, uh, battle tactics. He can use his beam. He also has his critical mass form from Godzilla Unleashed if he absorbs enough crystal energy, which will uh, increase his power from a high ball up to 240%. So that'll make him vastly stronger. And if he's already somewhat in the same scales of uh, Godzilla and Ghidorah, that huge amp could potentially make him uh, strong enough to take on Bagon on his own. But even then, with the amp, I don't think it's enough to save him from Bagon because Bagon is around destroyer level. And that's 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 no small feat, and I'm gonna be, and, and I think everyone on planet Earth, I don't think there's one person that's gonna disagree with me, unless you're gonna be facetious, who's gonna say, oh yeah, Varen with critical mass is stronger than base destroyer. No one's saying that. Like, let's be real here, no one is saying that. So, yeah, it's is Varen is even despite all of that, Varen is still losing a bag on. I'll, I'll probably say mid diff this time if we allowing critical mass. Yeah, it's only fair. It is composite. Then, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Varen would get low div, but I also think this would update King Caesar scaling. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, yeah, L on my part. But the update King Caesar loses. the I, Everything I said applies to base with critical mass. He just gets slightly better. But despite all of that, he still pretty much loses. So the next one here is my boy Kumonga, my second favorite kaiju of all time. So Kumonga's webbing would scale to his AP or at least scale to like the other monsters as he's been able to restrain monsters like Godzilla, bladed monsters like Gigan, and even monsters as strong as Monster X. And for those of you who don't know, Monster X is strong enough to like go toe to toe with Godzilla. So in all honesty, he's not the physically strongest monster i mean he yeah he can take energy blasts like no problem but if someone like gets their physical hands on him he's pretty much done here 
And the reason why I'm not including the poison sneaker is because that's just, I don't know, it just feels too risky to me for him to use it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let him have it because, you know, we got to let them do the best they can. Uh, I mean, you got a point there. Let's let him have it, I guess. <laughs> so Kumanga, weirdly enough, he's either he gets completely folded by Godzilla or Godzilla like Kaijus immediately or he'll actually have some good stuff like he did in the Solar Series where he'll be on par with Godzilla or, you know, like putting boxing up Rodan with some webs. So he's he's a bit of a mixed bag here, but I think he should be able to at least cause some type of damage to Bagon. Only problem is, uh, I don't know how well ba uh, I don't know how well Kumanga would do against Bagon's beam, and then we already established Bagon should be physically either on par with Godzilla or superior. And if we know Monster X can crush up Kumanga, oh yeah, I could definitely see Bagon crushing him just as easily as well. So I don't I don't think uh, Kumanga wins either. But yeah, he should be around, like I said, the same rounds as probably Varen or King Caesar. I can definitely agree with that. I don't think Manga would last too long in like a long, or sorry, a close range fight. But I definitely can see him um, probably webbing up a gun a little bit and just restraining him there. So now we're at the point where I would definitely be explaining Angiris. So Angiris is definitely... Um, and don't hate me for this, he's definitely one of the more durable members of this team here, and definitely probably one of the most durable monsters of all time. His armor gives him an extra boost, and I think he's able to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, or at least he's shown he's been able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with monsters like Destroya. He's even managed to knock out Gigan, despite it was a little help from Rodan. And even if he doesn't have, like, you know, the... um. I guess you could say like the AP to fully harm these monsters or these, you know, um, what is it called? Alpha tier monsters. He's still able to not only take the beating, but to hold off the monsters until they get there. Plus with his critical mass and his rollout ability, he could do a lot of damage to Angiris. So what do you think about this, Churro? Yeah, our boy Angiris is finally like, we're getting to Kaiju stuff that I think he can definitely give Bagon some hands. Because of, like, what you said, his defense is great. Literally in raids again, he was pretty much fight boxing with Godzilla for hours, at least. Uh, we know he can, he's a reliable ally to Godzilla in uh, Godzilla versus Gigan in the Showa era. Because Angiris never died. Despite the fact he was bleeding out and taking hits from Ghidorah and all that, he, he was never killed and he was never critically injured. Literally, Mecha Godzilla basically broke his jaw and then by destroy all monsters he's all good so he's so he's pretty much should be on that terms of power and then like yeah like you said in the comics his uh back was able to damage the likes of destroy which we just established Bagon should be around that tier well here we go we finally got a kaiju that we could arguably say can do some real damage to Bagon, and he's gonna use that critical mass boost his defense and Oh, yes, sir. And he can use Burrowing, too. Yeah, but he doesn't use it like Zilla does. He has all of that. I mean, has he used it like in combat before? Nah, no. Nah, I don't. I can't think of too many times of Angiris using his Burrowing in combat. I think he did it once in Rulers of Earth, but I could be mistaken. But yeah, combat-wise, he probably won't use it too much. I mean, even if he doesn't like you know uses burrowing yeah. ability i think he does have the highest potential other than gorosaurus to really like damage uh bagan here but not quite beat him yeah it's really good uh but yeah despite all of that it's exactly how you say it, grimlock uh he never really won clutched up a 1v1 against any of the high tiers so despite all of that i think he could put up a good fight but even with all of that he's still losing a bag on because he just doesn't really have the feats to prove that he can win the fight. He has the feats to prove he can fight, he can take some hits, but he doesn't have the feats to prove that he can win. He All he does is just prove he's relative. I totally agree here, but I could at, at the very least see him breaking a horn. Oh yeah, I can see that, especially with critical mass amps, I can see that. Yeah, that rollout ability is about to be fierce, especially with a um, critical mass boost. Yeah, that's what he's going to have to rely on, some spam. Uh, hey guys, Legendary Grimlock here, and I have no idea what happened to the rest of the audio. The video said it was 100% merged when this happened, 
And yes, you guys can tell it did merge the audio. I did it with CapCut making sure no parts were there. I even put it on auto where it could pretty much do it by itself. But for some reason, we are missing half of the audio. So what did we do in this video, right? So we went over Rodan and Mothra, both giving them their critical mass states. And we said that Rodan, due to the sheer amount of speed he has with Rodan and AKA Fire Rodan, because of the boost he gets from a double amped due to Godzilla Unleashed having Fire Rodan instead of the base Rodan, Rodan's boost in both speed and power would have been so astronomically fast that I said Bagan wouldn't see him. However, Chiro made the counter argument that Bagan should be able to see him because of scaling relatively to Godzilla, which again, I can always agree with. So Chiro would put him at a, me and Chiro, sorry, would put Fire Rodan with critical mass at a high diff, high to extreme diff. Meanwhile, with Mothra, it is a very different ball game altogether, with Mothra having the highest potential to basically beat Bagan by her or his self. This is because of the Leo Mothra scaling and the various hacks and abilities like arcane lightning, cloning, invisibility, transmutation, and the time travel ability. And we also covered what would happen if they all jumped Bagan together with Mothra, Rodan, and Anguirus basically caring. So what I want y'all to do is go subscribe to Chiros' channel, give us some love, and give him a lot, a lot of attention, y'all. Y'all give me so much attention, give him his attention. I am very sorry that this audio was cut out or for some reason it didn't edit itself into the video, but I do have future projects with Kichiro, I almost called him Kiro, <laughs> with Churro's King plan. We have a MonsterVerse versus Final Wars, which would take place on his server. And a third one, which may involve either Godzilla or Kong from the MonsterVerse going up against Elder Dragon level monsters. You know, like Luna Garen, Garen Gollum, Rajang, and stuff like that. Um, that might happen, or maybe I might do it myself because I might just do another um, Godzilla video with Kuro. So anyway, please comment down below, like, and subscribe, and share it with your friends. This is Legendary Grimlock, and go subscribe to Churro's channel. And y'all have a blessed day. Peace.